Hello bearded bee people, welcome back to the BNK's Bees channel. Uh, as was requested, today's a video about late season splits. We're out at one of our honey yards. We pulled honey off already. These are the main three hives that we'll be splitting today. They're very, very strong in population. They're not the right genetics, so we're doing a good thing in that sense. Um, we're, you know, giving them uh, hygienic queens and local uh, Michigan mutts that we are quite proud of. So we've gone through, like I said, pulled the honey. We brought out mating nukes since it's the end of the year. Rather than just having a mated queen in a cage, we've got two frame mating nukes that we're going to set in each split. Um, basically, we are, uh, we're giving them a queen. A few days uh, from now, we'll come out and make sure that she's out or release her. Um, and we're going to try to set them with enough food. If we don't set them with enough food, then we're going to feed uh, throughout the course of the next week or so. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Oh, found her. All right, Katie, will you grab me the uh, queen clip? Got it. Now I know that there's no queen in this box. Now, does I, uh, obviously, uh, ideally, we would leave these queenless for some period of time before introducing the new queen. Um, I'm just gonna leave the queen caged an extra day to kind of counteract that, but there's definitely a, a higher likelihood of success if you leave the box queenless for anywhere from you know 12 to 24 hours just so that they know good and well that they're queenless and they're more ready to accept the new one um but that's not the kind of time we have so that's not how we're doing it today Yeah, so we're spreading our, or increasing our chances of having these original three uh, over winter, splitting them into nine. We are, uh, you know, fairly likely to have at least three of those come through, especially considering the fact that these are young queens and they're going to lay a bunch of brood up over the next month or so, uh, which will be, as I had alluded to earlier, fat, healthy winter bees. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the strategy from now on, at least for honey production hives. Um, I, I, I like the idea of young colonies going into winter, um, and I've never seen anything to indicate that it takes a larger colony to make it through a tough Michigan winter. We have single tall colonies make it through all the time. I know people in northern Wisconsin that overwinter uh, solely nukes, so, uh, so don't think that you need to have a three or four story high hive in order to make it through a tough winter. You just need a lot of good healthy young winter bees and you need enough food and you need that food in the right place. I'll make another uh, 
you know, overwintering plan video between now and the end of fall. But this is how we make our late season splits. Uh, all right, so if you like this video, click like. If you haven't already, click subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Um, otherwise, get out there, make some late season splits for yourself or have some fun with your bees or whatever. Uh, thanks for watching.